Good morning, guys. This morning, I got up and I thought, what the heck am I gonna talk about today on my daily video? And I started thinking about creativity. I was listening to a podcast by Marie Forleo, and she was talking about how important it is for us to really indulge in our creative side. And it got me thinking back several years ago, probably about five years ago, I went to a conference. And it was the um, Association of Change Management Professionals and Eric Wall was the speaker. And he asked everybody in the audience if they could draw. And you know, you imagine this huge conference room for the keynote speaker and I don't know, maybe like one or two percent of people raised their hands. I didn't raise my hand. What was going through my mind was, oh my gosh, she's gonna pick someone to like come on stage and draw. And I absolutely cannot draw. And in fact, I thought I wasn't creative at all. Like I had no artistic ability. <laughs> and he said, you know what's funny is if I go into a kindergarten classroom and I say, how many of you guys can draw? They all raise their hands. And he said, there's this feeling of creativity and possibility that we lose as we get older. And all you have to do to kind of bring that back is open a pack of crayons and smell that smell of possibility. And right away it puts you in this different place where you really begin to think about your creativity. And then he talked throughout the keynote about the importance of tapping into your creativity. <coughs> And I love that and I thought, oh man, you know, that's really cool. But I didn't really think about it, it lasting with me through my life. And obviously, you know, I'm talking about today, so it has. But I came into work the day after the conference and Maya, one of my coworkers, had left on my desk a pack of crayons. And it was just one of those, I think, small 16 packs. And I thought, oh my gosh, I love this. And I kept that pack of crayons on my desk for about five years and every time I would feel stuck I would literally open it and smell it. Now this is not the the crayons that um, Maya left me. This is a pack of crayons that is that's my granddaughters and they are the most amazing creative people like every child out there and what I love is listening to them as they're coloring. Now you might think that's just weird listening, especially the young one, Elena, she's six. And she'll get out one of these magical colors and start coloring and start talking. And she talks about what she's drawing, the characters. She has whole conversations and I know that she's in a completely different place and I love that. So if you start to feel stuck in your career or as an entrepreneur, Grab a small pack of crayons, leave it on your desk. Ah, take a deep whiff of the smell of those crayons and you'll be amazed at how much creativity really comes back to you and you realize you are a creative person. Um, I used to, after that I started saying, well, what, the area I'm creative in is creating change, developing plans. I'm great with metrics and numbers and those are all absolutely creative endeavors. And that process got me thinking about where else am I creative? And as I started building my business, I realized, oh, I'm creative in more ways. You know, I can do videos like this. I'm a keynote speaker. I create content. Um, and I just feel like that, that talk by Eric and the box of crayons from Maya, thank you, Maya, really went a long way to helping me open up my creativity and do something different with my life. So if you feel like you're not creative, I will tell you, you absolutely are. We all are, we're creative beings. Grab a box of crayons, smell that smell of youth and creativity, and just see how it unlocks your creativity. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.